Hey there. Hello, Glenn. Hey, Glenn. Awesome. <laughs> He's um, done uh, servicing the uh, other animals. Hello? Hello? You there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, there you go. Did you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you when you speak into the mic. Oh, I said, are you done servicing all the um, animals? Everything but the hay has been done. It's raining here, and it's slippery. It's uh, It was uh, plus 5 degrees, so it didn't freeze. I didn't have to change the water. So, thank goodness, because it's not easy to walk around. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I still have the hay to do. Doesn't the water uh, mess up the hay? Doesn't it ruin it? See, <laughs> Grains in the morning, water in the middle, and hay in the afternoon. Yeah. Hang on, I'm going to switch phones. My old phones pick up sound better than the new phones. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try me again. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, Glenn, uh, what did what did what did you find on the um, on the UCC code and order of, of merchants and how they linked? Well, uh, it's it's moo. <laughs> yeah. Order of merchants is moo. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Backwards. It's the nurturer. The pink cow. If you travel through the countryside here, you'll find places that'll put a pink cow on the front lawn to indicate that they're there to help those that are in the know. Yeah, fellow travelers <laughs> stopping through, right? So that stuff, it seems from. I was told what I was told. Seems like they that stuff were, uh, you know, maybe the um, the really really you know, big stuff with that. Like it, like it's um only select people. They help. They um allow. They allow to um I don't know supposedly I guess get around the um. Yeah, because I, I thought the UCC code, I, I didn't think that was, I didn't know that was, at least I didn't see anywhere where it was, it was um, made by uh, this group. Well, it's a big W. Mm -hmm. UCC is a big W, the third breast. Yeah. Flip them around, you'll see what happens to C becomes a U. W is three breaths. So when you have a W followed by a C or a U mm -hmm. or two C's with a U, you have the big W. As they speak about Cassiopeia in the sky makes an M or a big W flipped over. So when I look at that, like, um, what should I be wary of? What should I be? Well, you know that you're dealing with a group that doesn't have your best interest. <laughs> That's a good place to start. <laughs> <laughs> That's like everywhere I go. It's always like, yeah, doesn't have well, my best interest. What What did the... Um, the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration say this week about his staff. Guy so sent out a, um, a request for funds to 
help the election campaign on his uh, on his letterhead. The minister said, I, I can't take the blame. That's that's a flunky in the office. So can you imagine working for these people? You are considered to be a flunky. That's, that's a pawn on the chessboard, disposable. So he, he can uh, hang around, running around India and Pakistan and China and attending cocktail parties, and he assigns the task to people in his office. And when they get caught, he calls them flunkies. <laughs> If you look at Viator, Mm -hmm. Viator began in the 300 A.D. period, 380 or so A.D. It's the word victor. If you replace the A with a C, as you have in CACA, you're dealing with coprolite. So, like, this group of Viatorians, uh, um, I think the in the post, but they link to o- Oregon, Baker City, and McManville. Yeah, they, they're basically <clears throat> the people that set up the network. Think, mm-hmm. think about it. Mm-hmm. At an A, which is the name of the new slave assassin out in front, and you have aviators. <laughs> yeah. Why would Egyptians in 380 A.D. be preparing a word for people who fly? Aviators. Yeah. Why would a Californian with money make a spruce goose (laughs) and grow his nails long? Nails refer to the cross. They also are linked to rails. Why did the Prime Minister of Canada's Chief of Staff resigned, a guy by the name of Paul Tessier, about 20 years ago, and was made the head, the head of uh, CNR in Canada. CNR's most important passenger rail service is called Via Rail. The credit card called Visa, the entry point into Canada is with a Visa. They're all linked to the Benedictine monks. The Benedictine monks run Regal, the programming center based upon the Virgin Mary. West End of Montreal. In the U.S., you have CNN. CNN is a big W. What's it like when you see, like, in all these countries, you have ABC in America, then you have BBC in London, and in Canada, you have CBC. What's that connection? Well, America is uh, an important place since 1492 because it began a new phoenix. New phoenix basically set the stage from 1492 to 1992 or a 500-year period would be America's 
time to grow to get to the stars. And then the shutdown period after that of 16 years brings it to 2008, which is the interim period to the next journey, the next phoenix. Um, Clerics have a C at the beginning and a C at the end. <clears throat> and in the middle is the word rail. <laughs> well, that was that word rail was in like the, I remember reading a post with um, that group who they supposedly go and they study. Aliens, UFO type of thing. Call them Raelians. Raelians? Yeah. Raelians. You said that was a a code word? Yeah. Mm. It all links the Benedictines, who, out of whom came the Knights Templars and and the uh, Trappists monks, the uh, place called Clairvaux, uh, which is Clear Valley, if you will, because Vaux comes from Val. It's a, it's a glen. And the Benedictines have rules. And Benedict Arnold was a traitor. <laughs> and the Pope today is called Benedict XVI. <laughs> so well, he's dealing on. with ecclesiastic Freemasonry. Ecclesiastic Freemasonry have uh, the goal, and that's to create a replacement for us. <laughs> We're Jesus. He's yeah. us. He's us. He's us. Oh, that's the goal of ecclesiastic Freemasonry. So, if that's the goal of that particular group. So what's the goal of, say, the military? Or well, the military is part of ecclesiastic Freemasonry. Yeah, because the knights... Because, uh, yeah, the knights divided into two. So that's their link. But how about yeah. the media? They, they don't have any... Well, I mean, the they, media is Elam. Mm-hmm. The capital of the country called media was Elam, mm-hmm. and Elam is, of course, male, and it's found at the end of the word Jerusalem, Alem, Elam. Yeah, because whale, mm-hmm. the whales are the monarchs. You have these groups, right, who um, are all working towards this goal, but I know you were, I was um, talking to Jennifer, and she was saying, like, I was just saying, like, it's like, because when you make your post, you're speaking to insiders, the way yeah. you put it there. I'm speaking to them, mm-hmm. because it's senseless speaking to anybody else. Yeah, they can't do anything about it. Mm-hmm. But by speaking to the insiders, mm-hmm. I'm basically saying we know who you are. We know what you're doing. What you're doing is not the intent that creation had when this planet 
and this solar system and this universe was created. You are simply copying the codes that creation gave you and are misusing them. And if you don't show a reason why you should not be cleansed from the system, then that will be your fate. Mm -hmm. You can be cleansed on this planet by water and by cancer. But you mm -hmm. will be cleansed forever post-life by having had your last recombination, which will guarantee you will never, ever be a human again. So if your boss in your secret society has promised you eternal life, it ain't going to happen. That, that's the you, only hope. It ain't going to happen. So that's the only hope they have. Like, from what I understand, like, they don't, um, this, the concept of what creation is, is that something that's new to them? It's something they haven't been told? Well, it's, it's their big prize. They get to come back again. They are reanimated. But they don't know, you think, that this can happen? They don't, don't yet understand the true significance of higher power. Mm -hmm. Though their higher power understands full well that they're not the higher power. And their yeah. search for the gate, the fifth dimension, requires answers they have not been able to get. Because only if you can leave this universe through the same door we came in, mm -hmm. can you in fact return to the outer side of this universe and be available for use and right. reconstituting a new and better universe. If you don't understand how that works, you believe that you've been given everlasting life as long as you follow the instructions that you are given to hurt and maim other people, to cause poverty, disease, famine. All of these things people do because they believe there is a prize at the end. Christians refer to it as heaven. Heaven. So they've been practicing or promoting this since um, Egyptian times with mummification and all that kind of like your chance to come back. And yeah. So these guys started uh, in. Uh, the time of uh, Abraham mm. coming to Egypt. I saw that on um History Channel that there was a period where like uh, people oh, this is after Egyptian the Egyptian era, but people started buying uh, a lot of these mummies. Certain groups were buying them. And well, it was a mis.
misunderstanding at the time that you needed the entire body. Yeah. 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 Took time to grasp the concept of DNA. Mm-hmm. So, but Moses had it before them. Not Moses, uh, Noah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, he had the good, he had the right idea. He had because he had the tablet. All the animals of the world on a on a boat that size, he had to be speaking of allegory. Therefore, he had to be speaking DNA. Yeah. I actually I seen um I think in Canada in Niagara Falls, uh, I think there's a museum, the Rosicrucian Museum, where they say they have supposedly they have. Ramses and Seti. Mm-hmm. First, I don't know. That's from another dynasty. Because you say that the important one was the 18th? Yeah, 18th dynasty was probably in the mid 1500 BC. But the. Mm. No, Egypt as, as a. Um, place where pyramids were constructed, that occurred around 3,000. Yeah. Mm. The, the actual creation of the plant, mm. Adam and Eve, you put up a dam and you deal with the penultimate. That's a dam, Adam. Eve is the penultimate. The day before. Letter before. The time before. So... I don't know, so, like, there's obviously just insiders of people who, from everywhere, they've been looking at your site, um, and now they're looking at my blog, so these people are aware, they're being told, you know. While they're aware of some things, they're not aware of all things, everybody in that world is kept on the need to know. And they only know those things that are appropriate to the task. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but you're telling them things outside of their world. Yeah. So that would get some type of response. I mean, that. that well, would... you can you can uh, hear something and ignore it. So why even bother you hear looking something at it? and fight against it? But why bother looking at it? Why go and? You know? Well, you don't know what those, you don't know what those people are doing. You know, they could be at the last moment. They just just take the hint to go up to you know in that area up in, on the shield, or you know, you don't know what their plans might be or what they're going to do until afterwards. You know. So. And just on the day they first realize it's right is not the day they act. Mm-hmm. This this time frame, absorption there. That's yeah. the most that has to occur. So, like this week I wrote to uh, Bell Canada mm-hmm. and, and asked the guy when they are going to reimburse me for the $21 million plus interest that they sold to me mm-hmm. in 1987 when they, in fact, worked a deal with the Prime Minister's office to steal the land that I had for my project. That was the problem behind the project never going ahead. It was a conspiracy between Bell Canada and the government of Canada through the Prime Minister's office. Uh, The person who responded, obviously a clerk, who 
job it is to respond to questions that mm. I would need more detail. I said, do you really believe that the management of Bell Canada would like me to explain to you their criminal activity? <laughs> you, a frontline worker? I said, come on. Just pass the message on to the president. After all, it's their eternity they're dealing with, not yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that may get a response or it may not get a response, but it's not important at this stage. What's important is that they be told, because later yeah. on, when it comes time, they will be asked the three critical questions. Did you know? When did you know? And what did you do about it? When they're unable to respond having done something positive, they have in fact signed their last recombination notice. And you'll be there. I get to explain it to them. I get to walk to the door. I don't <laughs> make the decision. The decision is done by creation. But because I personally am here to observe, analyze, and conclude, I have to be certain that they were given every opportunity to turn them down. Mm. Yeah. Creation doesn't expect criminals to turn around overnight doesn't even expect them to turn around. But that doesn't mean you don't have a responsibility to give everyone every chance. And that's why they drew up a game called baseball. <laughs> you get told one time. You get told twice. And you get told three times. If it goes over your head all three times and you can't figure it out, you've struck out. If, in fact, what you did was latch on to what you hear and decide to look into it further, it's like going to first base. If mm -hmm. you keep on working on it and you prove to yourself that there's something there, you move to second base. If you confirm to the preponderance of the circumstantial evidence that it's right, you move to third base. However, everything might end when you're on first, second, or third. Mm -hmm. That doesn't count. What counts is when you come home. Sure. Yeah, those people, I think that their problem from I don't know, looking at material and stuff, their problem is they have that, um, it's with that word faith. That's what they have. They have faith in them. Faith that, just means the Father. Yeah, that's... that's that's the who they're putting everything in. T-H-I is T-H-E-F-A. So it's a fat her. Yeah. It's male inside the female with a management system added called the nickel. Victoria. Yeah. Victor Victoria. 
What period was the Victorian? That was, that was like Queen Elizabeth. 15, 1600s, 1500s. Yeah, what was significant about that period? What was important that happened in that time period? She was a um, supposed prude yeah. on the outside, but a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hypocrisy is basically the plan. Yeah. Hippo. Hippocrisy. Just look at the picture of uh, the map uh -huh. and yeah. look at it in detail, and you will see that Portugal is a face yeah. and a head of Spain. But above it, in France, the outline of the country is a hippo. Hypocrite. Two-faced. Europe. Yeah. And if you look down from Portugal across the Mediterranean, it appears as if the face, which is Portugal on the head of Spain, is a decapitated head on a pregnant woman's body, which is North Africa. Hmm. If, you look at, if you look at the Middle East, it looks like a frontal lobotomy on a head that is Africa. What was Africa's role, like, in the very, very beginning after? Because it seemed like when you trace back, like, alchemy and those stuff, they, they seem to go back to Africa. But you say that the movement started in India. So Africa was like what? like um... Africa was the garden. It was, <clears throat> it was the nurturer. It's where life was simpler and people could live without giving up their life to an employer. Huh. Yeah. And it was out of Africa, they moved out of Africa that things began to change. Movement out of Africa went through Madagascar yeah. and then down to Antarctica. When the Ice Age began, went underground. When the Ice Age ended, came back out of the underground, Test were done in Australia, New Zealand, Java, all the way up the Pacific Islands. Finally, the movement went into what is now known as Sri Lanka, which in the old days was attached to India, went inside. Mm. Of India, southern India on the east coast, the general area called Bengal. Ben is the sun, Gal is a female. They set up shop in a place they call Madras. S is crazy. Add that. From there, they began a project making Asians in the Himalayas, sending Roma, which are basically tribes.
travelers or wanderers to begin the process of destroying Africa. A revenge began by the movement to the Giza Plateau was done by going across an ocean, setting up shop in the area of uh, what we would now call Gaza, Jordan, Mount Sinai. That's where the workers set up. And they began to plot the construction. Giza had to give examples first of how not to do it. Those were the step pyramids built upon the sand and crumbled. And they had to show the construction of three pyramids because at the time night's concept of the night which was a warrior priest way warrior priest needed armor and munitions that needed on the one hand corporate world and at the same time they needed a control mechanism over the people so the politics division the knights and the worker corporate world were assembled together but the knights divided into two parts, religion and military, had to make pyramids four-sided instead of three-sided. And at a later date, statue which basically would tell anybody that looked at it that times were changing, was built, called the Sphinx. So when they built pyramids in other countries like um, South America, and these pyramids, I don't think they had a cap. Was that relating to a a missing cap, I guess, a Giza? Well, a cap refers to the beginning of animal life coming out of the ocean as fish or eel reptiles and establishing themselves on the land as animals who live out of the water was done by a small dinosaur that looked like a cat but The real purpose of the pyramids in America was basically to learn about humans and extract from females their eggs. So when you look at the entire South American continent, which is basically shaped like fine, Chile and the Andes, yeah. fine, by extracting things from the spine, they're basically saying they're studying the past. Mm-hmm. And they keep moving north out of South America into Central America and into North America, where you have the Incas 
the word comes from Cain, the builder. Yeah. You're moving forward, and there are a lot of divisions, Olmec, Toltec, all kinds of groups along the way, mm-hmm. and you arrive with the Aztecs that become Texas. So all these this these architecture like in Japan they have not I haven't seen pyramids but I've seen like spears that they build. Well, they they have pyramids in uh, in um, what those countries uh, Vietnam and and the places close close to there. Mm. Devoted to the Hindus and the Buddhists and all of that stuff. Oh, yeah. Thailand, I think, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's a replica. It's like the body is always two parts. A lung has two parts. A heart has two parts. The brain has two parts. So mm-hmm. there's no difference. In the world, you have east and west, mm-hmm. and then you subdivide east to south and east north, and west south and west north. Mm-hmm. So the the last task they had to do uh, on the North American continent was to develop a second batch of Caucasian. Or Finland. Fin. Yeah. <laughs> Try Fibian. In the, in the middle of the FX. You got I N. In like maybe. I. If. Top 10. Phi Beta Cap. They are the archivists. The archivists always have all the information. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is only on a task. Vatican has priests out there looking to expand for the purpose of bringing in more money. But only the nuns have access to all the archives. They do it through a system not unlike the game called curling. <laughs> the idea is you kind of slide in, sneak around, and end up inside in the house, it's called. The one who has the last rock has the last word because it's called the hammer. I think that's what yeah. all these hammer things. is basically the judge. Yeah. yeah. When he brings out the hammer, that's the last word. The same thing happens in any parliamentary committee. The guy who's in charge gets a hammer. That's why they called Jesse, who was the governor of Minnesota, the Mm. hammer. Mm. It sounds stupid to some people, looks stupid uh, as a former wrestler, but he's got the hammer. And, you know, um, the hammer has been used in a Thor. Mm-hmm. So. And, and, and I also say it's like um, I don't know, like second hand or something, or second, um, yeah, second hand. I guess ham is another type of person. Mm-hmm. Ham mm-hmm. has two words in it. Ma and C. 
man is a mother and the sea. Not a... What is the sea today? There's the holy sea, which has two E's, which, like a tree, is a seal. Mm. But you have the sea, which is the creator of life. E-A. Like seed, yeah. Creator of life. The sea is the name they give to the Valkyrie. Cedars of life, you said? Creators of life in the future. The Valkyrie. Yeah. They're so well (laughs) um, uh, found in this, like, society. Because they... You know, set it up where, you know, people, you know, with the Alzheimer's and all types of things, so people get nurse, nurses. Well, you know, there's, you know, there's three divisions of life. The birthing part, the making of babies is one. The maintenance of life, the hospitals in the middle, and the extraction of the benefits of life and most people would say why would you want to help the poor have no way of paying their bills (laughs) well nuns know that on the one hand more valuable than money is their DNA they also know that in a democratic society, the government will pay them pain these people while they steal their DNA. They That's can't. crazy how we had a world where, you know, people kind of took care of themselves. Now you have, and I guess people are so fragmented and they can't even take care of themselves. And so they ought, they, um, hide but if people. they were smart people or if they were criminal people, mm-hmm. they have something the manufacturer of babies want. Recessive genes that can be inserted into a new egg and a new baby made and tracked that it can be made to do things for them in the future. It's a cycle of birth and rebirth. How many yeah. how many how many babies do you think those nuns give in a lifetime? Well <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of work, you know. As good as mine, you know. You got uh, nuns working at it, you have uh, latter day saints working at it, you've got those people who claim uh, that monogamy is not the way to go, polygamy is the way to go, but you never know who's the father. Mm-hmm. Just because there's 20 women and one man doesn't mean him that's supplying. Yeah. So, like, that that makes sense why, you know, nuns, you know, <laughs> uh, fat bottom ladies, <laughs> they fight from all that birth. <laughs> why they would insist on wearing clothes that hide their shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... I was just going to ask that question. Yeah. Those big fat bodies, because you you see, like, a woman who has uh, a lot of babies, like, it takes a toll on on the body. On the body. Stretches the hips to be really, you know... There's, There's... a reason for everything, and it's never the reason that's most spoken about. You know, they they claim they they just retain the clothing of the Middle East mm-hmm. because they weren't living up to 
modern times. The bursa. To hide who they are and what they really look like. And to yeah. hide most times they're pregnant. Yeah. I, I wonder why, like, how come they have people come into the order? Why don't they just, like, breed people up from inside, you know? Like, breed up a... a the reason the, that if you take your DNA from the same place all the time... Oh, yeah. You don't end up with the most intelligent mm-hmm. people. So, when, 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 a, when a nun's given birth to a... Um, uh, they call them foundlings. Yeah, family. <laughs> they found uh, in their bed. <laughs> um, what, do you think any of that DNA is transferred from the nun, her DNA, to the... Uh, it's not the necessary. Gun? It might be, but it's not necessary. Yeah. Art, artificial insemination can insert the egg and fertilize it. I was wanting to know that too. Like, if you see certain celebrities or, or whatever, and they have all the babies, and, and the baby actually looks like them, so do, do they mix, or anybody that they're that they're they're, they're doing that's going to raise the baby? Maybe they just decided that they're going to raise the baby. Um, do they they have to mix some of their DNA so it looks similar, right? You don't want to have two different. Uh, uh, that's probably easy for them anyway, but. So, have you ever started like a project of Glenn, of um, taking um, like this, you know, watching like all people who are tra- trying to track uh, uh, people's history of uh, who've been who came from orphanages and, and nunneries. Well, what better system is there than the net? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of the minute, doing that. The minute you're on the net, mm-hmm. you're telling someone out there you don't know is listening mm-hmm. what's in your head. Yeah. What you're thinking about, what you're interested in, what you want in life, all those things you're telling. Mm-hmm. And at the other end, somebody's putting that data into a computer building a profile so that yeah. when they approach you, they know exactly how to do it. <laughs> now, that may be a profile of the egg they made that makes you. Oh, wow. So you may not even know it, but they know it. <laughs> when you're five years old, you don't know what they made you for, what they programmed you to do in the future, and they have to give you your your signal to start, function according to the program that they have installed in you. That's why I keep insisting there are no good people, there are no bad people. There are only people who've been programmed. Mm-hmm. And we're all programmed at this stage of the game, college of six days, which means 6,000 years. They've been working at this. Everybody has in them recessive knowledge. And every one of them has, to some degree, the information that the system wants out of them at a later stage in life. Huh. Kind of like what we spoke about yesterday. It's just that like, you put that disk into your computer and it unlocks that program. Yeah, and and most of the unlocking is done through a device called radio. Really? Radio 
is an ongoing programming system. It follows wow. you around in your car, yeah. Yeah. at your cottage, in your <laughs> bed at night. Anybody who leaves the radio on all the time while they sleep. It's being programmed. Yeah. I used to do that when I was in high school. Um, uh, when I was really younger, I was younger. Uh, I listened to music, passed out, the headphones on, and I was getting, and I was programming myself because. My actions were a lot different from what they are now. And uh, young people uh, into that do that. But they're very, like, highly influenced by the music they listen to. Yep. Uh, yeah. What would you say as far as, um, you know, it's, it's always talk about, you know, the women being um, implanted and what about tampering with men so that person can be a cedar walking around? Same thing. Yeah. We have in us the ability to be male or female. Mm-hmm. We start off as female. And it, if they give us the adjustments to make us male, we can be male. We can be gay. We can be uh, Enux. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's all dependent upon the task they've assigned to us. Right now, mm-hmm. they're running out of tasks for males. But they prefer males as the best of the two physical species when it comes to the size of the heart, the size of the lungs, the bone structure. But they prefer the female as the marketing. Yes. The marketing wing must be a nurturer. And, of course, the female is the nurturer in appearance, and the breast is is the place everybody thinks about when they look at a woman, not just men, women too, because that's where they began life, is nurturing at the nipple. Yeah. (laughs) In the past 2,000 years, the role of women diminished and the role of men increased as opposed to the clan mother societies that existed prior to the Ice Age. Mm -hmm. But now we're arriving at a new age. and That new age requires a uh, more complete slave and by far a better assassin. The word... Sufi uh, gives you a little hint of what they're looking for mm-hmm. because the phonetic word Sufi means enough. Mm-hmm. Enough is made up of two words, one and hug. <laughs> and then that assassin was called a thug. <laughs> and thug came from India. Yeah. And they want thugs who can assassinate with one hug. Uh, yeah, bring it out. Now, down imagine what that might mean. <laughs> if you happen to be swimming, you know that you can go underwater for... 10 to 30 seconds without drowning. Mm -hmm. And out of nowhere from under you comes someone who grabs you in a hug and drags you down. 
they have the capacity not to breathe through their nose, but to breathe through a gill. And they hold you underwater for 10 minutes. You drown. That's one example of dying with one hug. (laughs) Tree huggers. Hug. Yeah. They hug the seers. (laughs) Trees and seer is the same word. T can be an S. Trees are seers in one place. Human beings are seers that walk around. But once you've served your purpose, they want to be able to get rid of you. Mm -hmm. So if you are assassinated by a person who had abilities you didn't have, such as breathing underwater, or on the other side, hibernating, Mm -hmm. digging a hole in ice, for example, or in a cave, or in a little hole in an apartment building, and staying there for six months without eating. What do you think would happen to the search for you? You know, they they go to uh, rescue uh, people after an earthquake, but within a week or so, they're in the retrieval phase Mm -hmm. because they don't believe anybody could live for more than a week. Well, I haven't seen Bear that. can sleep for six months. I haven't seen yeah. that uh, symbolism or suggestion, suggestion, you know, of of them just hibernating like that. Like every time I see that, you see it every day, Jerry. I see it with animals. The theology of the brain. It's called a pineal gland. Mm-hmm. Pineal has one purpose. To remind you of what you were like when you were a fish or a reptile. And what it mm-hmm. manufactures is the chemistry to make that come about. It's used as sleeping pills. Mm. Well, actually, my I, yeah, I I researched that a while ago. It the the melatonin that comes yeah, from melatonin. It's it's react. It's from sunlight. Uh, like when you, when you have sunlight, you don't feel it anymore. But once the sun goes down, it it kicks in. Yeah, vitamin and D. If you're hiding in a little hole someplace, <laughs> you can stay there for quite a long. Time. Yeah. Imagine the police having to chase bandits who could hibernate for six months. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if they even then 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 the then the if that was um then you'd have whole new agencies for chasing these uh, <laughs> <laughs> superhuman people. Well, they they are making them now because they tell you that if they're going to explore the planets, Mm -hmm. there is no sense sending a person on these long journeys of six, seven, eight years Mm -hmm. as, as human beings who are awake and functioning Mm -hmm. because there really is nothing to do, but they're going Mm -hmm. to sleep. Yeah, but their their bodies, right? Like a human being's body. Um, if it doesn't eat, like it deteriorates. If you're using up energy. only if the pineal gland is not functioning. Oh, okay. The minute you jumpstart the pineal gland, mm-hmm. it's a different body. 
because when uh, I see the bears, consumption, when... Mm -hmm. consumption of oxygen and food mm -hmm. and its need for um, vacating the excrement changes totally. Mm -hmm. A bear goes into a mode somewhere around 25 to 30 percent normal yeah. activity. So if you need 70 percent less air, yeah. if you need 70 percent less food, mm -hmm. the whole thing changes. Because when I look at a bear, like they consume like so much fat that their body will can like you know survive the longer the more they consume the longer they can remain yeah yeah so hey it's also insulation too so but but if it's a human doing it their bodies can't get that big only because the body is not all turned on and you're burning all that up because you're the same thing as a computer. Mm -hmm. All the stuff is in there. Yeah. yeah. You don't know how to access it. Yeah. <clears throat> so as these... you learn to access things, you learn more and more. Yeah, because these and they keep blocking you from accessing. And yeah. have these pop up thing, things on the <laughs> side that get yeah. in your way. Yeah. That's why it feels like you're remembering more than learning it for the first time. Yeah. It's cause these, oh. these super slaves, like, they have, like, it seems like they have more uh, additional, like, uh, features. They have more switches turned on, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, well, there there's the switches that they can turn on in the body that were there from the beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are the switches that can now be turned on that are devices which were first made as machines and then converted into technology, mm. bio, finally converted into biology and inserted into the body so that it functions like the rest of the parts of the body and is not visible any more than anything else in the way of biological material in the body. That's why the guy who inserts it has to put a mark on the palate about what he did, because unless he does it, you won't know. And you may need to know at some time in the future if you happen to be a plastic surgeon who is responsible for replacing a device that is mm -hmm. in, within someone's body. You can't, you can't have a, a thing hidden and keep putting it in the same place. People will find it by chopping off the finger or chopping off the hand or whatever. They'll know what starts and stops it. So you've got to be able to move it around. The best way would be to put it in the bloodstream and have it move along with the blood without causing any clots or whatever. All of those things you can believe are or have been investigated thoroughly. I mean, it sounds it sounds like something like those things are practical, like like as far as going into, into outer space, like you see those different. That's pieces. McGill University and their links to the CIA. What is the CIA doing but making better spies? What do spies do but assassinate? Yeah, and they show these spies, like I, I people get the impression that like it's a the men, but I have a feeling a lot of them are, are we men, female spies, and, and assassins. There won't be any men. In the years to come, the role of men is get back inside and be uh, ready to be called upon for 
accounting purposes, but at the same time, you're the infrastructure, you're the body that makes, makes it all happen. It's a patriarchal structure, because <laughs> that's what the whole, what we live in, the infrastructure is pa- patriarchy. Um, and when they talk about father, they're not talking about a male. They're talking about a fat her. And so in essence, there won't be any Neanderthals, female or male. No, they'll all be combined into one. And that's something else. <laughs> That'll be that's the new, the new man. That's that's the new. Well, it's it's what they call the Trinity: triune <laughs> man, God, the fat her. Mm-hmm. The sun is on the inside, and the G-host is what basically holds all of the new technology. So, it's, uh, And he's the dean of knowledge, therefore he's the Neanderthaler. So like all these insiders, right, or people who are listening, uh, you've been saying this for years, Glenn. If they don't, they can't get through their brains that every species of human is basically going to be eradicated. You know, I, I, I guess I, you know there really is no point of them come ever coming back. Well, that's that's the point. The job that we have now is to define once and for all. Is there any redeeming social value left on this planet? Are there still functioning brains around? Or, um, you know, that, that has a consequence that deals with how you end the function of this planet. Mm-hmm. Do you do it? by mass extermination, not caring who's in the way, or do you do it by uh, cancer, for example, where you can cherry pick this one as opposed to that one and this one and that one? How does that work with the cancer? You can cleanse people. Read on. Yeah. It, it, Read on. It recombines the body and causes lung cancer. But it does it. What does it do to the DNA? Like you're saying it erases it? Well, uh, cancer basically means a cell that is growing out of control. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's just, that's just taking away people's lives. That's not... Um, well, taking... it could very well be that there's a link between some recessive gene waiting for radon. Yeah, because we all have... At least, I don't know if all of us, but I know that people have cancerous cells in them. They're just sitting there waiting to be called. Yeah. Called, called. The, the, the concept here of the time of Noah's Ark mm-hmm. is an ark as controls. Mm-hmm. And you can guide it from one place to another. That's what we had when we had males and females and Neanderthalers. We could guide the direction. But what's about to happen is an exploration of the universe. Uh, Exploration of the universe, you don't know where you're going and you don't know what's there. The raft. <laughs> yeah. So the raft replaces the craft. So that's okay. and, and being at the front mm-hmm. is not important. There's no front. Yeah. So I think I know now what they mean. as important now. as front. You you go backwards in time in order to prepare the vehicle because the vehicle of the past, a hermaphrodite, is more appropriate. So that's why 
you're, you're living in an age that the place I went for programming at the age of five is called Regal. Go back again. Regal. Yeah. That's where they're training the border guards, is at Regal. Um, with the craft of uh, Regal, it, it's, it's interesting, um, the word curtain in English. Yeah. Has the word curtain. And, and, and a raft in French is a radeau. Yeah. And it's linked to B, D, P, Q, and G are interchangeable. In lowercase letters, they all look the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All you need is to flip and turn. So phonetically is the most important. So when you're spelling things, if you spell it R-E-G-O, you're spelling the same word as if you were spelling uh, R-I-G-A-U-D. In French, rigo. In English, rigo. If that word, um, curtain, I was going to say, um, it's, it's linked to the word kettle and circle. And that well, kettle... Well, it's got the U-R and pain <laughs> in there. So you're behind the looking glass. You're in yeah. another version. And CU can be CA, and that means copper light, CA. That's why Canada is the big shit, because it has CA, CA, CA. CA for CA, then NA, turn the N sideways, you've got another C, so that makes CA, CA, and then DA. Penultimate of D is C, that gives you ca ca ca. <laughs> the most important place in the world, you know. <laughs> this just sounds funny from top <laughs> shit. <laughs> King <Right>. shit at <laughs> Island. <laughs> so it does. A woman at at uh, uh, Citizenship and Immigration who wrote to me, her name is Burton. Yeah. yeah. Well, B is penultimate of C. Mm. B I've been seeing that link a lot. Can be a P. P can be a T. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of these things all fit together, but in in that case, if you're looking for a D. Instead of a B, that's simple. B and D are interchangeable. And instead of Burton, you change it to a D and you have turd. <laughs> T-U-R-D. That, that's what I've been finding. I think I found, you know, I've been finding a lot of, you know, that uh, URs and things. But well, just, there's this guy I've been researching into. Um, his name is... Uh, Winston Shrout, right? And you can't find any other word in the dictionary. In my dictionary, I can't find any other word except for shroud. And shroud is a vessel. Is is, is, is like a cover, and mm-hmm. and it's on a vessel too. It's something that they put on vessels, and mm-hmm. it's with a D. And so you just put the shroud on top of shroud, and the only connection I can see is that. You are between T and D. And so mm-hmm. that person, it suggests to me that he comes from shit. And they made yeah. him. Cause, um, but, like, I guess a lot of it's, people, they just won't realize that they come from shit. Well, it doesn't, it, it doesn't appeal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when it, the minute you tell people that there's a good possibility that they were... They're going to hang up on you, Glenn. This guy just tried telling me I'm a piece of shit. And that's why they use that in the language. You're a piece of shit. Uh, 
certainly are. I come from shit, yeah. Yeah, and, and the way the connotation is used is kind of like get people away from that to discourage. Yeah. Look, it's always <laughs> it's always mirrored. Yeah. And, and when when you're going out with a girl, mm -hmm. they call it going on a date. Well, did you ever look at a date? <laughs> yeah, it looks like shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, wow. and that's what that's what your wallet feels like afterwards, eh? <laughs> yeah. So I guess, I mean, uh, what I was trying to bring up this, we're all in this together. Yeah. And if if we don't realize that, we're all going down together. Yeah. But if yeah. we can find thirteen functioning brains, we can at least, if nothing else, buy. 5,000 more years. 5,000 more years is enough time to smarten up big yeah. enough out so that when we leave this universe through the Stargate called the fifth dimension mm -hmm. and enter the sixth dimension, we will at least bring a proper representative group <laughs> of the lessons learned in this universe. If we leave as 13, we're, we're basically scratching bottom. So let's try the best we can to tell enough people mm -hmm. without arguing with them. Yeah and allow them to come to their own conclusions. You yeah. don't have much time. End of the Northern Hemisphere is 2062. Could happen any time before then. We're in the window. No. The likely end is 2058, but there's that four years leeway at the end. Right. Quite sure, but it began in 2008 and ends in 2058. So that's 50 years. That's linked to the number five and nickel and pentagon and all of that. So maybe, just maybe, there's enough people listening in without saying they're here, according to the cell, any time that we're on the telephone, there is a minimum of 2,000 additional listeners. Whoa. So Whoa. out of those 2,000, which uh, are basically known in, in their own world as reader analysts, Maybe some of them can smarten up before it's too late. In any event, the time has come for me to go distribute some hay. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Well, I'll see you guys again the next time. All right. It was okay. good talking to you. Yeah. All right.